Hey guys, it's Mark Fails 420 here. Today we have another video for you at Weekend Warrior. This is episode six, and uh, we start off with a a fight with a bear. Yeah, I uh, I thought about it. Like I said, I I really really was uh, intrigued about maybe fighting it with my fist, but um, yeah, I know it would have been great for your entertainment, but I think it would have just ended in a uh, quick death, a very quick death for me. I don't care how much I tried, maybe if I put him down to like no health and start fighting him. But now, as, as you can see, I start off the bear fight with a few arrows in him. Oh, missed that one. And it's time to pull out the pistol. And I just keep backing out. Uh, I don't need this bear getting any closer to me. Oh, there's a rock. Oh no. Oh no, you're not, now you're getting a little too close. Let's unload the clip, keep backing out. Why aren't you. Oh, they take a lot of ammo. I forgot. Oh snap, better turn about the shotgun. Oh, and good night. Well, that was a little terrifying. I uh, finally got that challenge done at least. That's all that matters. Oh, why can't I not pick up this? There we go. And I'm encumbered. Yeah, I was on my way to the trader, but I ended up running into this bear, which is uh, what I needed. I can finally get rid of that challenge with the time. Oh shit! Okay, where did you come from, nurse? All right, it's time to get out of here. Let's head to the trader. Trader Hugh, I am on my way. Where's my bike at? There we go. Hey, Trader Hugh. Yeah, hey, I got a bunch of good shit for you. <laughs> Not, but who cares? He's gonna take it anyway. I'm pretty much just gonna give him anything and everything I got in here. It really doesn't matter to me. The more the merrier. Oh, look at that coins stacking up. I'm hoping he at least has some ammo for me. Because the last few times he didn't have anything. Alright, uh, let's just check. Oh, definitely still 7.62 ammo. Let's take all of that. Uh, shotgun slug ammo? I probably should just end up taking that as well. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in here I really need. No. Alright, I just headed out to my bike. I still had some loot in there I needed to take out and sell to him. Just get a little bit extra coin. Yeah, get rid of all those glass car jars. I have way too many at the house. I don't need them all. You can take them. Sell them to somebody else. And I'm the bit. And now nah, I'm not gonna get the animal fat. I'll get it later if I really need it. I've been using the animal fat just to get torches so I can light up the base. You'll see. I've been putting a little bit more work into it so now it's easier to see at night let's just put it that way yeah I put these little poles up and put a couple torches on them put a bunch more torches on my house because I want to actually see my house at night and yeah I was going to end the video with this one, but I started to make a new video and I woke up in the middle of the night to a whole bunch of zombies bashing on the side of the house, running around. A good bit of them died on the back spikes. I have a wall of spikes just sitting in the backyard, but they're all running, so I guess it's time to deal with them. At this point, I thought it was only two. I was like, alright, let's just train them over here. I wanted to just get them on the spikes. I wasn't going to waste any ammo or energy on them, but that turned out not going to work. They'd love to get stuck on shit. That's their favorite thing. Yeah, you can sit down. Alright, there's a, one more over here. And look, again, just stuck on the hay barrels. You could easily walk around it. But no, he, he has to sit there trying to hop on top. Alright, Pop, sit down. Oh, I went a little, a little too fast. Oh, shit, nurse. Alright, you wanna play a ring around the rosy? Cause you can't get me. You're way too slow. And I can't hit you because I'm freaking whiffing. That was another whiff. Alright, look, see? And now she was uh, she was stuck. Wait, there's definitely Oh, alright. Time to get out of here. Yeah, let's just rain down some arrows. Oh these spikes. I got a lot of spikes. They do all the work. You don't have to do anything. You just get up high and they sit there crawling around like idiots on top of them. Which is fine for me. I'll just put a couple arrows. They're stone arrows. Made way too many of them in one night. 
So there's no no repercussion for just <laughs> wasting a bunch of them. Alright, there's only a couple of guys left. And then I definitely want to start heading out. Yeah, my, my goal was to head back out to those houses. That little cul-de-sac. I'm going to end up looting that entire area. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything too good, but I'm assuming there's a couple safes in there, which that's always good for some weapon parts. I can always sell those to a trader, or I could uh, upgrade my weapons, get them a little bit better. And I'm pretty sure there's just one more zombie sneaking around. I, I hear. Oh, she's definitely stuck on the door over here. Yep, there you are. Yeah, you're not getting in here. Yeah, that that was uh from one random horde that came swaying through my back. But if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate a like and a subscribe. Alright, now that I showcased a little bit of the ridiculous horde structure I got on my base, let's head out. On our way. Let the journey begin. Thank goodness we got the money, boy, because this thing... Oh, it's a lifesaver. Instead of walking everywhere, uh, let's enter Dyersville. There's always a couple straggler zombies just hanging around in the streets. I usually just pass them and leave them go on the way home. But, sorry, man. It's time. I'm just tired of you blocking the road. You're always in my way. Look, see? What are you doing? What did I tell you? Alrighty. And nurse, you're lucky. Oh, hey, Mr. Piggy. Oh, I'm not going to pass up you. Come on. Get back here. Now, where did that arrow go? Mr. Piggy, what are you doing? Where'd you go? Oh. You decided to break dance in the corn? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to end your party so quickly but I gotta go get things I had to go grab the bike bring it over here and I usually leave my hunting knife still in there yeah so I stopped back here because in the last video I completely forgot there's always a working stiff crate right here well not always if there's spikes in here I'm pretty sure you gotta break the steps and it should be underneath there oh and a purse I don't know how I'm gonna miss that oh wow little so somebody was locked and loaded Alrighty, and as you know, I'm always going to take apart these cars. That's scrapping that gas, and it's a quick way to pile it up. Take apart this last car real quick, and we should be heading into the little cul-de-sac. Alrighty, so I'm going to probably end it right here, and I'll start off the uh, next episode running through these three houses, and then most likely we'll be heading to the Schrader after that and getting rid of everything in here.